I'm Dominic. And I'm Jesus. And welcome to WNN. Did you hear about the assembly on Friday? Yeah, I heard about it. It was pretty good. Let's go check it out. Come on in your seat getting, and getting out of this assembly here. Star of the show. <laughs> First assembly. Oh, me too. Anyway, Warriors, we got some advertisements for you guys. Hello, Westwood. Yat e abine. My name is Tasha Giles. I am one of the Native American education liaisons here at Westwood. Saturday, August 14th is National Navajo Code Talker Day. To commemorate the day tomorrow, here is a message from the Office of Indian Education by Nicholas Wilson. As we celebrate National Navajo Code Talker Day on August 14th, it is important to reflect upon what and who we celebrate. We celebrate the life-sustaining power of indigenous language and voices, a power so strong it helped bring an end to World War II, also a power that has persisted and endured despite governmental boarding school efforts to eradicate it. To the 29 indigenous Navajo Marines who used their indigenous intellect and language to develop an unbreakable code, I say a Thank you for your courage, the courage to speak and utilize your indigenous language and voices for all our human and more than human relations. May our remembrance of your valiant sacrifice and efforts never be forgotten. Blessings to all my relations. Man, I'm cold. What do you mean you're cold? I'm hot. Well, the climate has been changing a lot. Speaking of climate, let's go check the weather. It's, uh, it's, it's raining pretty hard right now. But next week's weather will not be like this. It's going to be heating back up, low 100s, maybe high. So uh, just like last week, lying down on the clothes, maybe wear gray or something. Don't wear a lot of black. Um, pants, if you wear those, I guess, that's cool. Um, jackets, don't do that. Um, anything else, yeah. But the start of the week, it's gonna be low 100s, maybe. High. Just, uh, just be careful, drink water, stay hydrated. That's about it. Yeah, see you next week. Is that good? You good? Man, that assembly was too good, man. Yeah, you're telling me. That it was so good that we just had to go interview two people about it. They go check out interviews. All right, I'm Brian. I'm here with Luis and Jorge. All right, guys. So, what do you guys think of the assembly? It was pretty cool, you know. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. How was you guys' first week? Been pretty good. Not too bad. I'm pretty good. Kind of getting lazy. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys. Right, Have a good Thanks, one. Bro. I'm Bethos. I'm gonna be asking. Wait, wait, what's your name first? Pruitt. All right. So, how was your first week of school? Uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, pretty boring to be honest. I didn't do anything in my classes. Yo, there's a fly. No, there's fly bugging. But. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's sort of pretty, pretty decent. And what are you? I'm a senior. So you're gonna graduate this year? Hopefully. Yep, same. All right, thank you, bro. Yep, nice to meet you, bro. All right, today I'm here with um, Guillermo. 
All right, and what are you? I'm a senior. All right, so I'm also a senior. Class 2022, you know? So how was your first week of school? My first week was interesting, man. I went to the wrong the wrong classes the first day. <laughs> I felt like a freshman. Really? Yeah. Well, it happens sometimes, you know? Thank you, bro. Thank you. Man, I'm kind of hungry. I didn't eat anything this morning. Yeah, me neither. Hey, let's go check out the lunches. Hey, Warriors. The lunch for next week is on Monday, chicken alfredo with a garlic knot and steamed broccoli. Tuesday, nacho deluxe with refried beans. Wednesday has sampler basket Nashville hot chicken tenders, cheese sticks and onion rings with celery sticks. Thursday, orange chicken and brown rice with steamed broccoli and carrots. And Friday, corn dog with macaroni and cheese and buttery corn. Words and stick around for the student expectations. I'm Dominic. I'm Asus. And remember, fear, fear this fear. Good morning, Westwood. It is a great day to be a warrior. This presentation is to go over the expectations for this school year. At the conclusion of this presentation, you will be asked to sign a statement of awareness that can be found on the school website. We want to introduce you to our administrative team. Principal Gilmore, proud principal of Westwood High School, his focus is that we are warrior-centered and future-focused. We want all students to graduate from Westwood High School, not just with a high school diploma, but with also an idea of where they are headed after high school. Next up, we have Mrs. Campbell. She is over registration and she works with our senior class. Then we have Mrs. Geyer. She's in charge of student services and she works primarily with our juniors. And now, Coach Pond. He oversees our athletic programs and he works with our sophomore class. Working with our freshmen is Mrs. Gardner. She works with freshmen whose last names are A through K and also um, is in charge of student activities. And now we have Mrs. Harris. She is over our teaching and learning department here at Westwood and works with our freshmen with the last names of L through Z. And Dr. Davis, that's me. He's your IB program director here at Westwood High School. We have a team that's in charge of safety and security that you'll see around campus. Officer Johnston is the SRO or Mesa police officer who's on campus. We also have the following individuals who you, who you will see around campus. Juan, Fernando, April, Jim, Jimmy, Jordan, and Terry. Our handbook, it's a reference that we use uh, to work with our students as needed uh, and assign appropriate consequences for various behaviors. It also sets district and school expectations and of course, if you have any questions, please ask. Students, at the time of this recording, face masks are recommended by the district. Should face masks be required again by the district, please take note of the following. The face mask must fully cover the wearer's nose and mouth at all times. And it needs to make sure, you need to make sure that it's securely fastened. If you are in need of a Westwood mask, they are currently available for sale in the bookstore for $10. All right, students, with your ID cards, carry your ID card with you at all times. Any adult can ask you to show your ID or ask for your ID number. You will need your ID card to leave the campus. You'll also need it during lunch, media center, and various school activities such as dances as well. Your first one is free. If you haven't already done so, you can pick it up in the bookstore. Additional IDs are $5 each if you lose yours. All students must have a pass to leave class. The only accepted pass is the white MPS pass. Any adult on campus can ask you to show your pass. When it comes to cell phone and electronic devices, they are expected to be used appropriately as teachers direct you with their instructions. Otherwise, during class time, please turn them off and have them out of sight. Electronic devices can be confiscated if they are used inappropriately. And please note that MPS is not responsible for any loss or theft or damage to your personal devices. There have been several changes to the district dress code. Please make sure you are paying attention as we go over the following changes. Clothing must include a top and a bottom, such as pants, skirt, shorts, or the equivalent, or a one-piece outfit, such as a dress or a jumpsuit. Clothing must have material that covers the front, back, and sides of the student. Clothing must cover all private body parts and or undergarments and must not be see-through. 
Tops and one-piece outfits must be secured with material at the shoulders or the neck. Clothing may not cover the student's face to the extent that the student is not identifiable. The exception is clothing that is worn for health and safety or medical or religious purposes. Footwear, such as shoes, sandals, or boots, shall be worn in the school buildings at all times and must be both safe and non-destructive to school property. Headwear, including but not limited to hats, hoodies, and bandanas, are permitted in school buildings. All headwear must allow the ears and face to be visible and not interfere with the line of sight to any student or staff, except clothing or headwear worn for health and safety, medical or religious purposes. Clothing must be suitable for all scheduled classroom activities, including physical education, science labs, CTE shops, and other activities where unique hazards exist. If you have any questions about these particular aspects of the dress code, please speak with your teachers in those classes. Specialized courses may require specialized attire, such as sports uniforms or safety gear. Students, be aware of the following prohibited items when it comes to dress code. You are not permitted to wear clothing, jewelry, or personal items that would substantially disrupt or materially interfere with our learning. You cannot wear things that would contribute to a hostile or intimidating environment. Clothing cannot advocate or promote violence or acts of terror, criminal activity, pornography, use of drugs or alcohol, in particular cookies, use or depict hate speech, and it cannot threaten the health or safety of any other student or staff member. Students, if you are dress coded, you will need to go to the nurse to get a change of clothes. Our goal is to get you back to class as quickly as possible to make sure that you do not have a disruption in your education. Students, the best way that you can help this from happening is to make sure you are coming dressed appropriately to school. If you have any questions, please reference the dress code as found on the school website or the district website. Students, this is our campus. Let's make sure we're taking warrior pride in our campus. But if you choose to deface our school, please note that you will be asked to pay for the damage. You will need to perform work detail on campus. You will be charged, criminally charged, with vandalism. And you may not be at Westwood anymore. Make sure that you're cleaning up after yourself, particularly at lunch. Our custodial crew works very hard to make sure that our campus looks beautiful. Please remind your friends to do the same so that we can keep our campus beautiful. Please know if we have reasonable suspicion to search you, we can. Why might we search? Well, if we believe you have a weapon or drugs, or if you may have someone else's property, we have the right to search you. What can we search? Well, we can search you, your backpack, your purse, your locker, and your vehicle. Students. Please note that only seniors who are on track to graduate are permitted to leave campus at lunch. You must exit through the security gate adjacent to the student parking lot. Do not exit through the front office. Underclassmen who leave campus will be written up for ditching. Please note that student deliveries will not be accepted. This includes items such as food deliveries from things like Grubhub or Uber Eats. We cannot accept flowers, candy, gifts, or balloons. Students. Please note that skateboards, scooters, and bikes must be locked up once you're on campus. You must lock your skateboard or scooter up to the provided racks. There are two different sets on campus and both are near the amphitheater. Carrying your ride is not permitted. Attendance is important. To succeed, we need you here. And who wouldn't want to be here? Westwood is a great place to learn. It's always a good day here at the Wood. 10 absences in a class, excused or unexcused, will result in you being placed on audit, which means that you may not receive credit in that class, even if you're passing. You must appeal your absences if needed, and appeal forms are available in the front office. Teachers will take attendance the first five minutes of every class. All students will remain in class regardless of when they arrive. However, if a student shows up in the first 10 minutes of class, they will be marked tardy. If they, they show up 10 minutes late or more, they will be marked absent. We expect all students to be on time to class. Failure to arrive on time to class could result in the following consequences. You could be assigned lunch detention, you could be referred to the academic intervention team, or you could be assigned ALC. 
If after other interventions, students are still not showing up on time to class, they could also be assigned out of school suspension. Please note that students are identified by how many credits you have earned. Freshmen, you are considered a freshman if you have between zero and five credits. Sophomores, you have between five and a half and ten and a half credits. Juniors would have between 11 and 15 and a half credits, while seniors would be 16 and above. In order to be on track to graduate, students need to be earning credits for your classes. One of the mottos that we have on our campus is to move up. Moving up means that we are always going to be striving to be a little bit better every day. If we strive to move up academically, that means that we're showing up to our classes, doing our work, working with our teachers, and striving to learn those things we need to learn to master the content. If we are moving up in athletics, that means that we're taking care of what we need to in our practices and at our games to represent Westwood well. If we're moving up in our activities, that means that we're trying to get involved and to get to know other people on campus to make sure that all of us feel like we have a place that we can belong. The best way that you can feel like a warrior is to be active and get involved. There's a variety of clubs and organizations that you can join. You can try two activities or sports each year. Last year we had over 35 different clubs and that number is growing. If you're interested in something that we don't currently have, contact Mrs. Gardner. And actually, during lunch on Friday, August 13th, there's going to be a club fair where you can see what clubs and activities are available. Students, are you interested in playing a sport for Westwood? We'd love to have you on our teams. RepTheWood.com is the place you can go to learn more about schedules, social media, and all other types of information. Find us on Instagram at WestwoodWarrior62, Twitter at TearEmUpWW62, and Facebook, Westwood High School. Remember, this is warrior territory. Show your pride. As we reach the end of this presentation, we want to remind you that all students on this campus must complete their statement of awareness after watching the presentation. If you go to the Westwood homepage, you will find a link for the statement of awareness. It's a quick Google form that'll take just a few moments to fill out. Teachers, please make sure that you give your students a couple minutes to fill this out at this time. Students, it's a great day to be a warrior. War Eagle! Tear him up, Westwood! Let's have a great year! Woo! <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> Show's over. Go home. What the hell? No. <laughs> <laughs>